Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. 9.07 a.m. Heat index is 98 degrees. Rockport, Texas. Beautiful skies. Someone's got an awesome display. Right there. American flag over the Texas flag. Trampoline, basketball court, privacy fence. This place has everything. <laughs> I slept good last night. I think it was more fatigue than the temperature helping, but uh, the humidity was in the 60s. I know it's around 78 right now. How's that for a tree canopy right there? Beautiful. Guess I could give you some street names if you're playing along at home. There's another beautiful canopy right here. Yeah, July and August are the hottest months of the year down here. And I'm really looking forward to cooler weather, but we're what, halfway through July? I haven't died yet. That's not bad at all. Victoria? I can hear some birds. Victoria and Ruby. 35 is right over there. Business 35 is right over to the left there. Let's go up here. See what we can see. We're just driving around. Yakking away. Look at those beautiful palm trees there. I wonder what kind they are. Any idea, anyone? <laughs> I got a... Um, joke from my friend Lisa. Lisa loves melon so much that she wants to marry one. Unfortunately, the law says you can't elope. Yeah. Ooh. That was, that was a mom joke from Lisa. That wasn't even a dad joke. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Man, those flowers are pretty. That is just a pretty home right there. Well, they got a bell right, right in the front yard. Can I get the whole house? Isn't that pretty? Wow. Yeah, so sleeping was uh, pretty much a continuous thing last night. And when I woke up this morning at like, I don't know, 6.10, you could see some color coming in the sky and I went, ooh, I can sleep. And then my stomach said, no, you need to go find a restroom. And I'm like, ah, oh, come on, man. Really? So I went into Wally World. Got some water. What else did I get? Oh, and some bread. So I can continue my diet of peanut butter bread that I've been on for about a week now. <laughs> I had peanut butter bread. And then I had some peanut butter crackers. Now I'm going to be back on peanut butter bread, but a few days ago, I brought some. I bought some strawberry preserves, so it was peanut butter and jelly for a few days, just to break up the monotony of peanut butter. And I do love peanut butter, but I'm going to finish this loaf of bread and probably uh, go another month without having any peanut butter. I think would be a great idea on my part. And when we're done this little ride, I'm going to go make some uh, breakfast, maybe some oatmeal before it gets too hot. I don't know if they've, well, I guess they're working on the inside right now. That's a nice looking home. I guess when we drove by before, they didn't have the doors and windows in yet, if I remember right. So it's nice they got uh, progress. Not too many people out and about today. I don't see a whole lot of people walking or anything like that, but I do think the people that walk for exercise for the most part already um, have been out or they wait for later in the day. Some people do both. Because the sun's been up for about two and a half hours right now.
And you go ahead. You go ahead, nice person. Just maybe go ahead with turn signals next time. Just a suggestion. It's America. You do what you want. But certainly turn signals would have been nice right there. That's just me. That's how I roll. <laughs> Whenever I'm out and about in the hood. Very nice homes on this street. Log cabins and some nice houses, some working class houses. Straight ahead, several blocks down, is uh, the church where Luciano stays, First Presbyterian. But I think he probably left there about 4.30, 5.30 in the morning. I drove by there last night before sundown, and he was already, looked like he was already laying down. I don't know if he was sleeping or... Um, Playing on his phone. Luciano loves TikTok. I think I've tried TikTok twice and I lasted about two minutes both times. It's too many too many ads and too many like the they'll take a 30 second ad and turn it into a five minute video and you have to keep hitting buttons to get to the next part. At least on like YouTube shorts, they show you the whole short, you know. That's Luciano's church there on the left. Luciano's church. The first church of Luciano right there. First Presbyterian. Nice dirt road. Let's go down the dirt road. What the hey? The one size paved. There's Luciano's home sweet home. First Presbyterian Church. They got half the street dug up here and filled in another area where they put in uh, new storm drains. Pretty neat. There's a Matilda right there. It's always good to know where the Matildas are. I get rid of my trash for the most part right at Rockport Beach. Get my little Walmart bag or the empty ice bags actually make really good uh, trash bags as well. Because they even have a little string on top of them. It's uh, pretty fancy, pretty fancy schmancy. I have had a headache now for a while. I don't know if it's allergies or what exactly is going on, but are you turning or are you going, you're going straight? You're just going slow. That's okay. Maybe he's uh, going slow because he's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> My window, I cleaned my window this morning, but now that I'm looking directly into the sun, I can see lots of places that I missed. Artesian and crafter markets. Hmm. Looks like they're always setting up something here. I bet you it cost a good amount of money to rent those tents and the manpower it takes to put them up. You know? It's got to be expensive. And then you have to rent the fairgrounds. So. I guess each setup is different too. So you couldn't just do like a permanent setup to save money. Not to save money. You could charge a higher rental fee. But you'd have to invest in that set up and then every setup is different so forget my idea folks 
Let's go annoy Luciano by asking him if he uh, needs anything. That usually uh, gets him upset first thing in the morning. <laughs> I do not see him over here. He could be over um, charging his stuff at the, um, yeah, what is that place called, guys? The Seashell Shop. So we can go over there and uh, see if we can catch him. Yeah, I've had a low headache and a slight sore throat for a while now. And I don't think it's COVID because I would have got over it by now. It's uh, It's been a week since I picked um, Mark up and he tested positive. Mark's negative now. I'm just giving out Mark's personal information. He's being negative and back to work. Okay, I don't see Luciano. Sometimes he'll, this is his like, takes a little break in that cabana. That'd be a good spot to just, we did a live from there before. Let's go see if he's at the seashell shop. He could have just decided to stay at the church today. Maybe it was just one of those days when he wasn't feeling up for the, uh, the walk over here. And I think it all has to do with his cooking schedule and his bathroom schedule. I do not see him over here either. I don't think. Uh, there he is. Okay, there he is. We got him. Mission accomplished, guys. This is where he charges his devices. Very nice lady that owns this shop, Debbie, lets him uh, do it. He's all set up and blocked from the shade. Hey, Luciano. Magazine down, headphones off, just wave hi. We're cool. How are you today? Okay. Is there anything you need, sir? Well, I ran out of the lemonade last morning, I guess. You want me to go get you a big Coke with ice in it? Yeah, that would help. Okay. Okay, anything else? Okay, I'll go get you some drinks. Okay, see you in a little bit. All right, guys, thanks for riding along today. Th thanks for watching.